Let me ask you a question. When you think of Mexico City, what do you think of? Traffic, pollution, drugs, corruption? I don't think so. In this video, I brought you to an absolutely awesome area of Mexico City called Chapultepec Park, a massive city park, including museums, lakes, nature, and wait for it, there's even a castle. Let's go have a look around. Chapultepec Park in Mexico City. First off, let's just get some basics out of the way, as always, so in terms of how to get here, so Chapultepec Metro Station is on the pink line, Linea Una, line number one, and the actual park is literally right next to the exit of the station, so you won't have any trouble finding it. Alternatively, if you are living or staying in the Condesa, Roma, or Polanco area, realistically, you can walk because it's not really a long distance but you know, it's up to you. And you know what, the reason why I said that thing at the beginning about the drugs and the corruption is that many people do have the wrong idea about Mexico City. They think it is like that, but in reality, it's not, okay? And I mentioned this in another video, the fact that many areas of Mexico City just highlight the level of variety, I guess, in this city. So you have places like Condesa, you have places like Roma, Coyacan, and then you have here, which is completely different. I wouldn't expect a massive park like this to be slap bang in the middle of Mexico City. And in terms of history, this park is one of the biggest parks in the Western Hemisphere, and it's often called the lungs of Mexico City, purely because of the amount of trees, nature, etc., breathing oxygen back into the polluted environment. So, um, yeah, that's quite interesting. It's, uh, you know, like I said, I wouldn't expect this kind of place to be in Mexico City. So let's go and have a look around. I'm at the castle. Yes, there's a castle in the middle of this park, which is totally awesome. And I've been to a lot of places like Japan where, you know, the definition of castle is not what I would think of castle. So this looks a lot more what I would call a castle. So um, should we go and have a look? Let's go. So here we are at the castle. It does cost 70 peso to get in and 45 peso if you're gonna film. But somehow I've managed to bypass that and I'm filming anyway and only paid 70. Never mind. And this is what I call a castle. Architecture. Finally, a proper castle. Awesome. And just look over there. So, you know, you've got the castle and then you've got the modern buildings in the background, which um, I love. It's awesome. Let's go and have a look inside. So, as well as being a castle, the Castillo de Chapultepec does double as a natural history museum. It's just one of the many museums in this park. You know, when I was looking on the map, on Google Maps, I saw like, not many, but when you get here, there's literally a museum every corner. I think I passed another one on the way up here. So, if you're into museums, it's a great place to come. When you enter, there's like a chandelier up there, a nice big staircase here, and lots of artwork up the top. So, um, history geeks, you're gonna have a geek out.
So can we just take a moment to point out where I am? Castle, fountain, pretty gardens. And as you can see over there, we are literally at the highest point of the park. Excuse me. So you can see the cityscape around. So this is totally awesome. You don't think of this when you think of Mexico City. I love it. So the view from up here just gives you an idea of the scale of Chapultepec Park. So even though the lighting is really bad, over in the distance there, in the top left, you can see the um, huge Mexican flag that's in the Zacalo, in the Central Historical District. So uh, it's massive, absolutely huge. And just look at the, you know, the difference between the, the buildings and then you've got the park. Right, enough castle for one day. I'm hungry. Although I'm not sure what if candy floss is going to cure my hunger. I don't care. So I'm just taking a little break up against a tree eating my candy floss. I haven't had this for years. So um, even though I am 36, I'm allowed candy floss. And because of this, you can tell it's a good area for families to come, basically, especially this little area. And the thing to know about this park as well is it, as I said, it's very big, so it's kind of split into three parts. And the part that I'm in now is the part that's more developed in terms of tourism, that sort of thing. You could spend all day here, realistically, like I said, there's so many museums that you could spend all day here at visiting. It's open till five o'clock, the park. So come early, potentially you could spend all day here. There's a couple of lakes as well. Once I finish my candy floss, we're gonna go and have a look at the lakes, okay? Hmm. And just on a personal note before we do that, I've been really sick for the last week at the timing of this video. And I was honestly beginning to question my decision to come to Mexico, it was that bad. But today has really changed my mind. You know, I'm back in the world of the living and this is just the right place to come. Totally awesome place in Mexico City. Yeah, if you're in Mexico City, this is a must. So I'm at one of the lakes now, over there. There's a big lake and a small lake. Over there, there's loads of places to eat. Uh, so if you want some authentic Mexican cuisine, it's the place to come. As you can see, it is very tourist orientated. So you've got all the boat thingies on the lake. Probably won't be doing that today. Okay, I'm gonna leave to Portopec Park now, but I will be back. Don't panic because there is a museum, the Museum of Anthropology, which is one of the most visited museums in Mexico. And I think that deserves a whole video. Before we go, let's just go back to the beginning of this video where I mentioned the words drugs, corruption, traffic, and pollution. Do you still think that that is what Mexico is about? I think not. Hopefully this video has given you a bit of an insight into what is actually on offer in Mexico City. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe if you want because there's lots more Mexico videos on their way. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.